Hello, welcome to On Cue. My name's Sean Robertson, manager of the Florissant Civic Center Theater. For those of you who are not familiar with the show, we like to bring a couple of local actors that are in the up and upcoming production and talk about what's going to be happening at the Florissant Civic Center Theater. Uh, today we have two uh, rising stars from the upcoming Alpha Player production of Neil Simon's The Odd Couple. And uh, just a little inf background information on The Odd Couple if you're not familiar with it. Uh, following its premiere on Broadway in 1965, the characters were uh, revived in, in a successful 1968 film and a 1970s television series, as well as several other works and spin-offs. Uh, the Odd Couple premiered on Broadway at the Plymouth Theater in March 10, 1965, and the cast starred uh, Walter Matthau as Oscar Madison and Art Carney as Felix Unger. The produ production gained uh, Tony Awards for Walter Matthau as well as Best Actor, uh, for the play and best uh, author and best direction of the play and as well as best scenic design uh, for and was nominated for for best play but did not win. So now joining me today are Todd McCauley and Pat Brigand. Welcome guys. Hi. Thanks for being Thank on the show. You, Thank you. Thanks Sean. So tell us who you're playing in the show and, uh, and we'll go from there. My name is Todd McCauley. I'm playing Felix Unger. Um, I guess uh, he's, he's what you would call um, uh, annoying. Annoying, yeah. <laughs> not what I was going for, but yeah, <laughs> a, a, a touch annoying it can be. Uh, but he's um, he's very uh, he's very in a word um, neat, tidy, uh, fastidious, annoying, um, but lovable. I, I I would like to say he's a lovable guy, but. Um, and he, uh, he run, run across a little bit of bad luck um, as his marriage has fallen apart and um, he looks to, uh, towards one of his dearest and closest friends, Oscar Madison, uh, for guidance. And uh, that's where, where the story at least starts anyway. Tell us a little bit about Oscar. Oscar's a saint. Uh, <laughs> Oscar enjoys life, likes to have a good time, uh, the life of the party. Okay likes to be in charge and run things, and pretty much just likes to leave things where they are. He's a slob. Um, that is the basic premise that Oscar just lets things drop and Felix has to pick them up. That's the dynamics of their relationship. Now, are, are these characters uh, representative of, of yourselves in any way, or? Uh, my mother and my wife say I've been preparing for this role oh. for for years. <laughs> Excellent. All right. And how about you, Tom? Yeah, uh, no, no. I, I'm I'm much like uh, yeah, much like a, a, a big slob myself. Yeah, yeah. So this is a departure for me, uh, which is great. I always love it. It's called a departure. acting. Yeah. yeah. Acting. <laughs> All right. Really stretching myself on this one. Um, how did how did you guys get involved with the Alpha players? Have you worked with them before, or is this a first? First time? Uh, yeah, there was a, lot. a few with uh, Alpha. Uh, my first show with them was Arsenic and Old Lace okay. uh, several years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, most recently would have been Harvey last year. Uh, yes. I played Dr. Wilson in that, which was a, a great experience, great show. Had a great time with that. Um, and uh, as far as hearing about this one, uh, the odd couple, uh, if I, if I Hear that that was being uh, auditions are being held for that. Uh, I was going to be first in line, uh, right. no matter who was doing it. But thankfully, it's in uh, it's close to home here and in, uh, in Florissant at the at the Civic Center. And are you from the Florissant area? Uh, no, I, I'm from uh, a little place uh, east uh, called Staten Island, New York. Staten Island, uh, right. and I, I've been here for never would have guessed a long, long time. Yeah, no, no, it doesn't. Uh, <laughs> doesn't what, what, what brought you to St. Louis? Uh, an airplane. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we flew uh, nonstop a few years ago. Uh, no, a lot of a lot of uh, moving around um, that I did. Uh, but the mil I was in the military for a few years, okay. and uh, uh, when I uh, when I got out, uh, decided to make uh, St. Louis my home. All right. Well, uh, Pat, wh how did you get involved with the Alpha Players, or have you done shows with them before? I've done a couple of shows with them and with Hawthorne. Um, Florissant is lucky that they have two community theater groups, uh, both filled with good people. I mean, it's, it's just a lot of fun. It's a lot of professional talent in both those groups. Yes. Um, anyhow, 
I did a little theater in college and then I went to work in real life and taught school for about 35 years. And what did you teach? Uh, special education, oh, wow. um, primarily at Northview School over on over on Deer Hockey Road. Okay. Um, retired from there a few years ago and thought, well, this is my, kind of one of my bucket list things is to get back on stage. So um, the last couple of years I've done uh, a few roles. Uh, most recently I was in Into the Woods okay, for yep. Alpha last uh, summer. Yeah. And then about a year ago I was in To Kill a Mockingbird. Yes. And uh, it's just been a, a wonderful little retirement hobby for me. Are, are you enjoying retirement? Yes. 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 Uh, time is more so, flexible. So, so some people, you know, need to be working all the time. Some people really embrace retirement. I hear. I'm constantly busy. I have a couple part-time jobs, and then doing this theater, right. and then uh, chasing after grandkids. His uh, own. It's full. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's great. <laughs> well, that, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, that's creepy. Don't forget, don't yeah, walk, yeah, you know. No. Oh boy. Uh, I knew you guys were going to be We're not the only ones. <laughs> we're not the only ones in the cast. Uh, yes. Yeah, there, there's, uh, Tell us about there's, some of the other... Uh, there's up to, I think, 100 people, I think. Uh, no, no, uh, no. <laughs> seven, there's not 100. Uh, but we have... Uh, uh, go down the list. Uh, oh, well, let's I, say, I know uh, I recognize George's name on there. George Lewandowski. With George many yes, times. yes. So really we'll is. start with him as Vinny. It'll be George uh, Lewandowski and Speed. Played by Vic, For Vic Porcelli. Maybe you've heard of him. Uh, and I, I've heard everybody. Yes, yeah. yeah. Uh, he's, he's the marquee name. Okay. And Anthony uh, Norton playing Murray the Cop. Uh, Patrick and myself, Oscar and Felix. Peyton Gillum as C Cecily Pigeon. Gwendolyn Pigeon is being played by Nori Rhodes. And directed by the wonderful Thomas Stone, who, uh, you know, he's, I think at the end of this, he's going to get a lot of the credit that hopefully. Well, we don't need the credit, but right. hopefully Thomas does too. Yep. It's, uh, you, some would think that this is, you know, oh, it's the odd He's couple. You know, uh, you go through the motions, you, you know. Well, you, I, I'm sure you guys are a handful, so. Oh, we, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm we seeing. are. You can see we it. are, fortunately, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, Tom is up to the task. Yes. Because he yes. has stage managed both of us mm -hmm. and That's stage right. man handled us yeah. a few times. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, assistant director by Barb Langa, stage manager Sharon Kotner, uh, sound by Brian Borgstead, uh, and props hopefully Alicia Brooks who will have her work cut out for her, many props mm -hmm. and props to her, and lights by Tiba. I believe, <laughs> did you say Barb doing TBA. costumes TBA. also? Yes. All right. And that, that'll round it out. Nice. Well, that, that, she took away some, some good 60s era styles for huh. us. So, yeah, uh, yeah. Taking place in, I think we're in yeah, that, late 60s. Uh, yeah, yeah. And, is, and is it set in New York City? Or? Yes. Oh, of okay. course. Yes. Yeah, it's right. very much a New York kind. A lot of New York references to it. Okay. Um, so, but. Yeah. Are they doing it maybe late 60s with, you know, the. Amazing Mets or anything uh, like yeah, that? Some, some stuff like that, though. sure. Yeah, yeah. Some Mets are up to mention. Yeah, yeah. 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 People are yeah. spitting over their shoulder now mm -hmm. as we mention them. Um, uh, what other, like, theater, you said you did theater in college. Uh, wh where did, how did you get involved in theater originally? Uh, Mm. I, uh, just originally, uh, just one of those things. Sometimes people seek it out. I, it just kind of happened for me. Uh, someone asked uh, if I was interested in, in trying out for a play. This is back in high school, um, and I and I, I decided, no, no, that's not for me. I, uh, I have other things to do. But uh, <laughs> but uh, but did a show. Did a show before I went in the service, and then um, a, a few years later, someone called out of the blue. To uh, to uh, go read for a show, and I did, and and haven't stopped uh, from musicals, sh uh, straight plays, um, anything that I can, something I can sink my teeth into. Uh, I'll be there auditioning. All right. Um, what else would our audience maybe like to know about the show that they may not already know about the Odd Couple? I mean, it's a pretty well, famous piece. The dancing. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Dancing. Singing and yes, dancing. Yes, they won't be, oh, they won't be expecting. There is an aria that Felix does. <laughs> I, I, I could, I could. <laughs> yeah. No, no, I want just to get them in the door at least. Sell some tickets you that know, way. I, I think there are a lot of people who have never seen the play. Everyone's yeah, familiar with the true. premise. Yes. And people of a certain age have all seen the TV show. And s some have seen the movie. I don't know how many people have actually. Mm -hmm. I've never, I never read the play. And 
itself it's until yeah. until we started production. No, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> by last night's rehearsal. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I forgot to read that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. especially um, your lines. But you know, it's a, it's a classic situation. Everybody has seen this dynamic in their lives. I raised two adolescent daughters, and one room, one bedroom was a disaster area. The other was um, as neat as a pin. Hmm. Um, so everybody's familiar with this dynamic of the slob and the the, neat the annoying uh, neat freak. Yes, and I guess annoying is a matter of uh, perspective. Likes, yeah, yeah, because the neat sure. finds the slob to be kind of annoying. Mm -hmm. But have you guys ever worked on a show together before, or is this your first time in no, a cast? This is probably the first of. Okay. At least five. Mm. I've been the <laughs> usher for one of Todd's shows. <laughs> <laughs> but, Me uh, too, yeah. yeah. Um, I've seen Todd on stage and I've seen him work and during the auditions, uh, I saw him, uh, when I saw him audition for the role of Felix, I thought, man, wouldn't it be great to work, work with this guy? So well, I, uh, I've been impressed with him every time I've seen him on wow, stage. Appreciate so it. Thanks. I, and you've been in a lot of things on our stage and mm -hmm. and for around town. And it's a great, know. it's a great, nice big stage to work on uh, for actors. And as far as the audience goes, it's a great place to see a show. The Alpha Players, and this is something I really want to put forth, are a dedicated group of uh, volunteers. They volunteer their time, you know, away from their homes, you know, their family and their jobs. Hopefully, not too much of all of those at the same time, but. The Alpha Players are dedicated to putting on quality productions right here in Florissant that of a professional level. And uh, you need to come out and support the, these groups here, right here in Florissant, right in your own backyard. The Odd Couple opens March 16th at the Gary R. Gatiss Auditorium at the Florissant Civic Center Theater. It has performances March 16th and 17th, the 23rd and 24th at 7.30 p.m. and closes with the Sunday matinee at, on March 25th at 2 p.m. Tickets are $18 for adults, $16 for seniors and students, and $10 for children 12 and under. For tickets, please call our box office at 921-5678, or you can visit us online at www.fluorescentmo.com. And uh, don't miss out on The Odd Couple. Guys, thanks again for being with us here today, and stay tuned for our calendar of events. This is my story. I can be anything I want to be. An actress. A musician. An athlete. A cheerleader. An artist. You can be anything you want to be, so why would you choose to drink and drive? Welcome back to the calendar portion of our show. Uh, coming up in March, you're not going to want to miss these great sh shows we've got lined up for you. The St. Louis Family Theater presents Clementine, the musical, from the Barter Theater in Abington, Virginia. Then they have performances on March 4th and 10th at 2 p.m. And uh, on March 9th, that's a Friday, at 7.30 p.m. And uh, Clementine is having a not-so-good-of-a-day, but this spunky eight-year-old doesn't let the trip to the principal's office get her down, whether she's cutting the glue out of her best friend Margaret's hair or concocting a scheme to prevent her teacher, Mr. Uh, DeMatz, from having to move to Egypt, or riding the service elevator with Mitchell, who is N-O-T, not her boyfriend. Clementine's antics are sure to make everyone laugh. Tickets are only $8 a piece, and there are some great group uh, rates available. Also in March, the Alpha Players will present The Odd Couple, uh, March 16th, 17th, 23rd, and 24th at 7.30 p.m., and March 25th at 2 p.m. Uh, one of the most popular comedies of the last 50 years is Neil Simon's, you know, one of his best. What do you get when you put an opera-loving, wine-drinking, neat freak and a beer-guzzling, slovenly sports writer together as roommates in a small New York apartment? Well, you know, you're just going to have to wait and see. It might sound like a great idea, but behind a, a reality TV show, but it's classic comic gold. Join us as we are reintroduced to the F Felix and Oscar on stage movie and television fame. So tickets are $18 for adults and $16 for seniors or students, $10 for children 12 and under, and group rates are available. 
Also, coming up in April, the Hawthorne Players will present the musical The Fantastics. This often funny and romantic musical about a boy, a girl, and their two fathers who try to keep them apart will take you to a world of, of moonlight and magic. You'll see the couple's adolescent thrills, the growing pains of hurt and betrayal, the highs of passion, the challenges of distance, and the agonies of heartbreak to discover how truly love how to truly love. The world's longest running musical, The Fantastics, features uh, songs such as Try to Remember. That show uh, runs April 13th, 14th, 20th, and 21st at 7.30 p.m. and closes on April 22nd with a 2 p.m. matinee. Also in April, you're not going to want to miss this great show by the Forest and Fine Arts Council. And uh, for all you baby boomers out there, we have the Baby Boomer Comedy Show for Main Stage Artist Management. Uh, the Baby Boomer Comedy Show is a, a you know, comedy 90-minute theater event uh, with clean humor on topics that the boomer generation can relate to, family, kids, work, do-it-yourself projects, dieting, aging, and all. Uh, fellow Baby Boomers and veteran com comedians uh, Jan McInnes and Kent Rader have uh, joined their talents together in this unique show that's packed full of funny, along with many aha moments for everyone. Jan and Ken have combined for 30 years of experience in performing in theaters and corporations and associations throughout the country. You're not going to want to miss the Baby Boomer Comedy Show, April 15th at 3 p.m., and that's a Sunday. Also, the Florist and Fine Arts Council has a real treat for us this year. Uh, we've got a wonderful retelling uh, from the National Players Theater, uh, out of, they're out of Maryland, uh, we're doing Othello, and that's Sunday, April 29th at 1.30 p.m., and the classic tale of identity, bigotry, and deceit is examined with contemporary clarity, combining Shakespeare's language with modern clothing to transform the drama into a powerful story of America today. Um, also coming up this year, we're going to have the Valley of Flowers Festival. If you're looking forward to that again, we've got... Uh, the circus coming to town with Zope's Family Circus, and that's uh, May 4th and 5th that weekend. And we'll have plenty of other, other entertainment on the James J. Egan grounds. And uh, as far as everything going on at the Civic Center Theater, you know, check out the St. Louis Family Theater Series on Facebook. Same thing with the Forest and Fine Arts Council. Uh, you can reach us at uh, area code 314-921-921. 5678. Our box office hours are 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday, or you can check us out online at www.florissantmo.com. Uh, one more time, 314-921-5678. Uh, Come out and see a show. Thanks for watching on cue.